Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently, Microsoft started finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11, which I posted on, and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. And now it's the turn for Windows 10 22H2, where Microsoft has rolled out update KB5041582, which is our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 to both the beta channel and release preview channel for insiders who are on version 22H2. So the update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 22nd. So there's a good chance starting next week, Tuesday, that this update will roll out to the general public as the optional update for Windows 10 for August 2024. Now the update is just that, it's optional, but if you do decide to install the update, if we head to WinVer, the current stable version of Windows 10 22H2, the OS build is sitting on version 1904.4780, and if you do decide to install it, that point release will be bumped up to 0.4842 or somewhere in that vicinity. Now, this is what I would consider to be a very, very, very light release. We get one, two, three, four, five bug fixes, and that's it. There's nothing else. There's no front-facing features. There's no tweaks. There's no adjustments. Just five bug fixes. So I suppose that is a good thing because it means that things are relatively stable then in uh, for Windows 10. And uh, just to go through these quickly, if you would be interested, um, there's an input method editor fix apparently when a combo box had input focus a memory leak was occurring when you close that window and a memory leak fix is always a good thing because obviously that will improve performance because memory leaks use higher memory than they should and then the update brings country and operator settings asset profiles up to date for certain mobile operators there's a Bluetooth fix, apparently an app stopped responding because of a memory leak in a device. So there's another memory leak fix. So that's two memory leaks that have been patched um, with this latest and will be patched with this latest bug fix update. So that should improve performance and stability to some degree or the other. Apparently, um, your system might stop responding when it accesses symbolic links. That's another fix. And then the fifth fix is for the Unified Right Filter and Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. Apparently a deadlock was stopping the device from restarting. So although a light release with no new features at this stage, obviously this is subject to change because um, the release preview channel where this update is being finalized uh, and also in the beta channel, but for release preview channels, and that's the last preview um, and the last insider channel before it makes its way to stable, but it's still in preview, so this is subject to change, so there could be some other little adjustments and improvements rolling out, but nonetheless, that's what we can expect to see roll out with our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 KB5041582, and when that rolls out to the general public, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.